you lovely lot. Would you consider yourself allergic to lip balm? Mm -mm -mm. The lip balm that you're using on your lips is probably irritating your lips, making them feel sore, cracked, dry, and in desperate need of hydration. Um, this is a film that I've been wanting to do for a while and I've been testing out loads of products and looking online and trying to get as much information as I can um, to tell you exactly what you should be using and why these products may be causing you issues. Now, if you'd seen a few weeks back, probably have no idea, about six, I did um, some uh, investigation on a product called um, Filarina. I was really excited about it because it's um, high grade um, hyaluronic and it's meant to make your lips look all full and lovely. Um, it didn't work for me, unfortunately. That's because um, when I was using it, um, I'm in the UK and it was very dry. Um, and because um, the Filarina product, the hyaluronic, um, is a humectant, it takes water from the atmosphere. And if it can't take water from the atmosphere, because I'm not in the rainforest, I'm in London, then it takes it from your body. And I'm not a two litre a day girl by any means, um, but I drink a decent amount of water. I'm, I'm not thirsty, I drink a decent amount of water. And when I said to Philarina, please, I really want this to work. Why is it not working for me? And they just told me to drink more water, which makes total sense, yes. But I'm not gonna drink five litres of water a day just to make my lips less dry and irritated. It's not, it's not, it's not how I want to live. I'm sure it would definitely work. Um, so filarine didn't work for me, um, but I want you to know that some of the ingredients, some hidden ingredients, like, not even hidden ingredients, some ingredients that you might think are good for you, like vitamin E, that can irritate some people's lips. Not all of your lips, but, but for everyone out there, some vitamin E products might be fantastic for some of you, but some, you might find that you're not getting the results you want. So when you use a lip balm, in about sort of four to five days, your lips should feel much more comfortable. You shouldn't feel the need to go into your handbag or the need to apply it. You should just have really soft, comfortable lips. Now, a Carmex user, I know some of you will probably love Carmex and Blisties. Now, Carmex contains two of the worst irritants in lip balms, and that is camphor, um, menthol. So anything that kind of gives you that sort of tingly, pepperminty, like mm, instant reaction, like, oh yes, I've got a rush of blood to my lips. Um, I'm instantly renewing um, my lip cells with just wonderful nutrients and now they're all going to be soft and plump. And then 40 minutes later, you're back in again. I've seen it for years and years and years. Uh, it's a very common thing. People who are addicted to lip balm have lip balm constantly and you never, ever, ever change that cycle, but you will if you use better products or products with less irritants in them. Now, the only way to do that is to go back to basics. So you want to use something simple. Now, if you, I'm sure a lot of you, because I'm great friends with Nadine, have seen Nadine's lip balm video and she absolutely loves Sycoplast. It's a La Roche-Posay product. Um, and this restores the moisture barrier on your lips. So if you do have very dry, very cracked lips and you use this product, it will restore the skin to its natural state. You can continue to use this every single day as lip balm if you want to as well. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, but this will kind of get you back to ground zero. And then if you choose to, you can go and experiment. And you really do have to look. And I know that because I've been trying to search for um, products that I think will work and I'm like oh no that's got that in or that's got vitamin E in or oh I didn't realize that that had lanolin in now I'm not allergic to lanolin at all or I'm not irritated by lanolin I love a product an Australian product called Lanolips and they've got the 101 ointment which you can use on babies it's high grade medical lanolin so it's very very pure um, and a lot of my clients who've had really a terrible um, almost like very damaged, dry, cracked lips. They've used this and within a week or so, they're like, Caroline, it's brilliant. What is that product? And they've used it. But some people are very allergic or very irritated by lanolin. So you might wanna do this as your first step. Okay, so I've got my lips back to normal. So I either carry on with the Cicoplast, that's absolutely fine. Or you can try lips, and if that works for you, then you know that you aren't gonna be irritated with any product that has lanolin in, and so on and so on. So you could try beeswax, you could try um, uh, different fragrances, but I would say best to kind of keep it just very, very simple. So the three products 
Well, actually, just let me know, let you know about this one, actually. This is a hydrating lip luminizer. This is what I've got on now. I was about to look in the mirror, but <laughs> it's not there. I hope I look all right. Um, and this, this is called Beach Pop, and it's just really hydrating. A little pop of colour, and that's lanolin again. So, lanolin lips again. Um, so, I've been using that. That's what I have on my lips now. Let me just have a look in the mirror. I've become very self-conscious. I think I look all right. Um, so, that's lanolin lips. Now, I use for my children um, Nutritic. Nutritic. It's one of those words, again by La roche -Bosay, that doesn't flow off the lips. Nutritic. And this is just a transforming lip care for very dry lips. And uh, my kids love, look how much is left of that. I mean, you know, I'm always genuine when I talk to you about the products that I love. We use that all the time if we need to in the morning. Obviously, sometimes my little one gets redness all the way underneath his chin. This is just really great for him to take at school and it's, you know, pretty unisex packaging. So we absolutely love this and 100% if you are suffering, this will alleviate that horrible lip dryness addiction. And you can't enjoy lip colour if your lips are dry, you just simply can't. So it's great. Um, this is one product, you can see that it's a little bit battered. Um, this is from Kiehl's and it's specifically, um, well, actually it's, well, it's not specifically for boys, it's from the male range. Um, and it's no shine lip balm. So if I'm working with an actor, and he's going on the red carpet, then I would apply that to his lips because his lips then feel comfortable. But he doesn't want glossy lips, not very masculine, is it? But again, just really, really simple products, lots of antioxidants, it contains vitamin C, this one. Really nice, doesn't smell of anything, and um, yeah, really, really good. So I enjoyed that for, for many, many years. I actually didn't realize that it was such a great sound product until I started doing all this research because a couple of my clients were struggling with a few products that I thought were great um, and actually they did contain some of those ingredients that could be irritants. The one that I use in my kit is Paula's Choice. Um, again, um, Paula Bagon is an amazing skincare expert. Lots of use in that. Again, very, very simple. So no mineral oil, no parabens, um, nothing that is called, gonna cause any irritant like fragrance to your lips. Very simple, really comforting, really protecting, um, you know, an emollient lip cream. And um, that absolutely works for me. And I think it's about 12 quid. So really, really affordable. So just be aware if you have got into that cycle and maybe you think, oh, I'll just go and get something natural. It doesn't mean that natural is not good. Natural is obviously very good, but because the skin is so delicate on your lips, it can irritate it. So just be a little bit mindful of what you're choosing on the counter and have a look through the ingredients. And it's a bit like food. We're all different and some things irritate some people um, and work for others in different ways. And um, yeah, you just have to find out what works for you. One other thing about dry lips is that if you're using a lot of sort of retinol products as well in the night, or at night time, you put it over your face, you might take it over your lips, you might find that the retinol is too strong for your lips. If you're also applying lots of um, hydrating products and then you clean your teeth and then you wipe your mouth, you've then taken away all that lovely hydration product. So maybe by the side of your bed, just have a little lip balm there and just put that on before you go to sleep, especially you know in the winter when there is not that much moisture in the air. I hope that's helped. Um, I'm sure you will share with me all the products that you love, which is always the bonus and benefit of um, sharing in these videos. But um, yeah, I thought it was a really important one to do and just to show you the products that I use that I think that work. All right, see you very soon.